and we really appreciate the fact that you took a few moments out of your busy days to experience Belshina as, uh, as we are here to present. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the breakfast, courtesy of the Belarusian government. I'm very, very glad to be able to stand here today representing Belshina here in the U.S. My name is Walter Anderson, and I'm going to give you some very important news about Belshina. I guess that all of you are familiar with Belshina since you're here, but some of you might not be. So for those of you that are not as familiar with uh, my organization, I'm going to give you a little bit of background and a very short introduction. Belshina is a fantastic state-owned company, one of the finest manufacturers of tires in the world. But I'm very proud to say that without Belshina and without our tires, a lot of those big machines would stop. And we don't want that, do we? As a result of this, we're exporting over 2 million tires every year. We do our share to keep the mining industry going. We are currently supplying tires to over 50 countries. Well, 51 to be exact. And the reason for our popularity is our very competitive pricing. It's that simple. And the stable situation in Valeros. We have dedicated workers that are being reasonably paid However, another reason for Belshina to be in demand, as I mentioned, is the stable situation. We have very few disturbances in uh, production, which uh, keeps, our, keeps the cost low. We almost have zero strike. The only cloud in the sky is the US and European, European Union. See, they've imposed sanctions, and these sanctions are a little problem. I say little, but I could also have said small. The thing is, they don't want us to be friends, since they don't agree with Mr. Lukashenko's ideas. But Mr. Lukashenko only did what was necessary. He stands behind Belshino 100%. I'm glad to announce that last year we made a substantial profit. It's good money and it's needed. Better as air defenses, but also add more police officers and more resources to the KGB, who are also doing a very good job of keeping our workers in line. And it's very, very hard to prosper if you are not prepared to make hard decisions. It's kind of like you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. You can't have both. Compared to other countries, not that many people have actually been killed in a Polaris. We do not have any freedom of press in our country, which is good because we don't need to bother with stupid comments. There's also no real opposition in our country, so our president will, be, uh, will not be dis disturbed in keeping up good work help and allowing us to, to do our good work. Thus, we can look forward to a very prosperous and long-lasting cooperation, which not only in the U.S., but also with you, working in the same business can, that we can both profit from. But, for the new OTR radio tire, we are going to make them blank. No Belshina name on them, no logo, nothing that will give away that this is a Belshina tire. But I guess most of you already know, by using subsidiaries, you can buy our tires. Completely legal, in countries without any sanctions whatsoever. And if you're gonna start mining, we can provide you with a list of subcontractors that can do the mining for you. We can make a kickback arrangement that you will get a better deal since we are supplying you with the tires. There are so many creative solutions available to us. And because of these solutions, we are looking forward to a very, very bright future. Another thing that I'm asked to bring up it's the whole currency situation in Belarus. We are having problems getting paid in U.S. dollars. We love this currency, we really do. So, uh, what Belshina is proposing is the ability to uh, do business with our organization. Uh, it's gonna have to, oftentimes it's better if it's in a cash uh, set of circumstances and it can always be picked up. 
and Mr. Lukashenko is also going to reward the first client that reaches 10 million US dollars in orders, he will rename a small village of Rudnai in honor of this client. Who wants to be the first, right? Wouldn't it be cool to have a village named after you? I knew you'd like that. The second thing, and, and, the, and the big revelation today, is how absurd all of this actually sounds. And I think you can agree with me. But here are the facts. It's happening. It's actually happening. I would like to thank you for the opportunity to inform you of what's going on in the hopes that I make life a little bit harder for Belshina. We're having, but we cannot keep on financing one of the world's last dictators. And I sincerely hope you didn't come here to buy. Instead of a new tire, we're going to present you with a new website. This is what the website used to look like. Here, we're going to build awareness to the situation and publish what we found. And this is what the website is going to look like. The fundamentals of Lukashenko's dictatorial rule have not changed in the slightest. Thank you so much for your attendance.